Has it resonated at all um, over the weekend, that first goal? Um, no, not really. No, like I said, it was it was more about getting the win. You know, we'd been through a difficult period. Um, and I guess we was feeling the uh, pressure a little bit, you know. Uh, again, a lot of players missing, you know, a lot of things that have gone against us. You know, another injury with Steph. So, um, it's a difficult period for us, but we all got to you know, remain calm, work hard and, and stay together as a group, you know, and we'll get through this. Does it make that goal more special then, given that not only was it a pick-me-up game winner, you know, so much more to it than just a goal? Yeah, and I think obviously with the, the timing of the goal as well, you know, coming right at the end, um, I guess there was a lot of emotion really um, from me, I guess from the other players as well and, and the people on the bench. Um, but it doesn't really mean anything if we don't go and get a result, you know, on Saturday. So um, we needed a positive, you know, um, after this, you know, tough period and, and we got it and we've got to build on that. How do you think the team can move forward and get that momentum back? Yeah, definitely, because, you know, we've not suddenly become a bad team. I think it is literally just confidence um, and the way we've played previously uh, with Clint and Ober, you know, we have a way of playing, you know, you take those two players out of a team and any team in this league is going to struggle, probably teams in Europe would struggle as well, so it's just about finding a different way of playing and we've still got good players at the top, you know, um, with Lamar and, and Barrett and now Thomas coming in there, it's a different formation, so we're working on that a lot and yeah, um, it's all about the team now and, and we can get through this and welcome the guys back, you know, in whatever it is, four to six weeks and, you know, still be in a good position. Oftentimes in this league, it takes guys coming from abroad a while to adjust at least maybe half a season. Um, what What's sort of been your way of, of just coming in and hitting the ground running? It seems like you've been able to sort of skip past that adjustment period. I think it's probably not uh, moving to a different league. I think the, the biggest factor with me was, you know, I've, pretty much missed two and a half seasons and um, even last year if you count that that's like you know three and a half seasons really of, of not playing you know not really training um, you know every day and, it, and it's difficult on the body to get that back um, but no I think I've kept myself you know in good shape and you know I've still watched a lot of football and you know I'd say I'm pretty much naturally fit so um, yeah it's 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 been good like I said I've not reached um, the you know the way I like to play you know I still think that's going to take you know some more time maybe it's going to take a season for me to really find my feet um, the way I want to play but no it's been good up to now. And what has this stretch meant to you like you said I mean it had been a tough stretch I mean have you been able to appreciate it a little bit more oh, coming yeah. on the backs of that? Yeah definitely like I said um, you know, I was ready to stop playing at some point, you know, because it was, you know, it was really difficult. I just didn't think I'd be able to get back playing, um, you know. So, like I said, with when you're coming through a difficult period like this, you know, I just appreciate the training every day, you know. I don't really let things get to me as much now and, you know, I continue to work hard and I know that there's so many highs and lows in, in, in soccer and, you know, we've had a little bit of low, but, you know, now it's time for some highs. Yeah, and taking on a leadership role and being one of maybe the guys. Have you been able to do that before in your other clubs, or is this sort of a new opportunity for you to kind of be that that type of guy? Yeah, I think it takes a little bit of age. You know, um, you know, it's not just performances. You know, I think it is, like you say, experience. Maybe not even on the pitch. You know, it's in the locker rooms. You know. I think last week, um, you know, some of the experienced lads felt that we needed to kind of regroup together, you know, and we went out and, and had a really nice meal, you know, didn't talk about soccer, you know, just about the guys, just about the players, you know, I think we watched the, the Mexican game that was on in the restaurant, so we had a good time, we got a smile on our face, and it definitely helped us, you know, on the, on the Friday game, so, you know, like I said before, we're a, we're a family here, you know, everybody cares. Everybody wants to achieve something and, you know, we've got to stick together.